I'm Debbie Dashinger. Welcome to Dare to Dream. Be inspired to live big and bold and take action to turn your dreams into your reality. Go beyond obstacles and limits of your thinking. Accelerate results to catapult yourself to success. I'm a visibility expert who gives media makeovers to clients, booking them on media interviews and turning their books into international bestsellers with guaranteed results. Join me at DebbieDashinger.com. Dare to do great things. Dare to shine. It's all about you becoming a visionary and leading the path. Welcome to your daring new life. Well, are you ready to find out what you can do with your goals and what you can do with them becoming your reality? Welcome to Dare to Dream. I am your host, Debbie Dashinger, and we've got a couple of amazing people coming up this hour, and I'm going to be talking about time and the seasons of your life. A little bit later, Galen Baker will be here. She's back on Dare to Dream Radio, and she'll be talking about climate change and her documentary film and book, We Know Not What We Do. And then later on in the show, the last half will be Mitch Russo here to talk about your entrepreneur dreams. Mitch was nominated for Inc. Magazine's Entrepreneur of the Year and won Best Entrepreneur from the National Association of Legal Vendors. He was the CEO and president of Business Breakthroughs with Tony Robbins and Chet Holmes. And today, Mitch creates massive wealth for his clients by guiding CEOs through his process of certification. So, time and the seasons of your life. You know, just as every day unfolds from very loud there. I don't know what I'm hearing, but if we can take that sound off, that would be great. It must be very loud to the listeners too. So back to the seasons of your life, just as every day unfolds from dawn to dusk. So also does our full lifespan beginning to end. It's fast, isn't it? And as we move through the seasons of our life, we experience different kinds of growth. We progress. We progress from our time as a student to focusing on a career. And then perhaps we progress to family and later toward retirement, whatever that may mean, because it's different for all of us now these days. And then, of course, there's another life shift. (laughs) Another life shit and another life shift. All of the above. (laughs) Every phase offers opportunities to grow, to grow in character, compassion, understanding, and self-awareness. And our thought for today shows us that by staying in the present moment, we can find fulfillment at every stage of our life. So I offer you this thought for today, which is, I increase my happiness every day. You know, it was Walt Whitman who said, happiness, not in another place, but this place, not for another hour, but this hour. When we come back, Galen Baker is here to talk about ego and relationships, how it helps and how it hinders us. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Whether you're a wine novice, a wine lover, or a wine specialist, you will love directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders because it's sourced from boutique artisan vineyards from around the world. Give the wines as gifts for colleagues to bring to social situations or just enjoy it with family and friends. The box of wines I've been receiving from directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders are superb, to be frank. They take care in the wine they choose. Their in-house wine experts ensure that the members get only the best. They've been tasting and selecting wine for over 15 years. The goal with this club is to send you wine that you love. Each month, our experts select great premium wines from wineries around the globe. Your satisfaction is guaranteed at directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. That's direct, C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. Tell the world about your product or business. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. The award-winning program is syndicated on over 60 stations, has a big following, and large listenership. 
If you're ready to expand your reach, become a sponsor or advertiser on Dare to Dream Radio. Best rates, great results. Email at ads at debbie That's ads at debbie What if the world doesn't function the way we've been told? What if we truly can bend the laws of physical reality? What if we can end limitation? What if weird were the coolest thing you could be? And what if it's time for a totally different reality? Are you ready to create it? Are you ready to dream as big as you dare? Hi, my name is Dane here. 13 years ago, I started to truly ask questions. Actually, I started to be the question, and everything in my life changed for me. This is your invitation to step into something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Shakespeare, Gandhi, Galileo, and Aristotle all knew to be true. It's not about the answer. It's about being the question, always. It's about truly being you, whatever that looks like, and changing this world. Is now the time? Start by signing up for a free video series at beingyouclass.com. That's beingyouclass.com. What if you are the gift and the change this world requires? Beingyouclass.com. Tell the world about your product or business. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. The award-winning program is syndicated on over 60 stations, has a big following, and large listenership. If you're ready to expand your reach, become a sponsor or advertiser on Dare to Dream Radio. Best rates, great results. Email ads at debbie That's ads at debbie What if you were willing to nurture and care for you? What if you could open the doors to being everything you have decided is not possible to be? Have you always known you're different from the people around you? If you've been seeking something else, something else is possible. To receive more on Access Consciousness, go to tinyurl.com slash access change. Is this the change you've been looking for? tinyurl.com slash access change. Research shows we apologize up to 10 times a day, and most of the time, we say sorry as a response to someone else's mistake. What if we thanked people instead of all that unnecessary apologizing? So instead of saying, sorry, I'm rambling, you say, thank you for listening. Join us at ProjectForgive.com, a free non-religious resource on global forgiveness. Elizabeth Galen Baker is here on Dare to Dream, and she's an award-winning writer-director of 25 years. Recently, she released her third documentary, We Know Not What We Do, which gained international attention to worldwide distribution by Silicon Beach. And Elizabeth was a keynote speaker for World Film and International Film Festival in Jakarta and is the writer of the original screenplay, 50 to 1. Her first book was Gifts of Gratitude, and her second book, We Know Not What We Do, is a companion book to the documentary film. Her other documentaries won awards, such as The Trail of Painted Ponies, narrated by Ali McGraw, also shown on PBS, and When Buffalo Roam, narrated by Peter Coyote. Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> and you can learn more at We Know Not What We Do.net. Elizabeth, welcome back to Dare to Dream. I love hearing your voice and feeling your energy. Great to have oh, you. Debbie, it's wonderful to be here. And, you know, I, I when you talked about uh, compressing it into a certain time period, I thought, I'm, I love being a guest on this show because I did dare to dream. I followed my dreams. Uh, my joke is, of course, I thought I'd be in jail by this point, and instead... <laughs> I'm a writer director and an award winning and I won a national humanitarian award for this latest one. We know not what we do. And when I was hired to do it, I knew nothing about climate change. And now I really have one simple message for everyone. And that is that we need to make a moral and spiritual shift in the way that we approach living on this planet and the way we treat each other. And if we don't, we're choosing extinction. It's just that simple. And and really helping the earth, really asking the earth and the live earth energy, what can I do? You will get an answer and be it a small or a large thing that you can do. 
it will bring you great joy. That's the whole point. People are avoiding this subject because they think it's fearful. It's not fearful. It's joyful. And the more you serve the earth, the more the earth gives you. And that's the honest truth. You know, in your book, We Know Not What We Do, you mention a verse from Proverb 31.8, which states, speak out for those who cannot speak for themselves. So what is the voice you feel you have, Elizabeth? And why now? Why are you speaking? And for whom are you speaking out for? I am definitely speaking for Mother Earth because we think we know what Mother Earth is. We think we know where we are. We made all of this up. It's an illusion. We we named it the Earth. We named it the Moon. We named it all these things. And now we think we really know it, but we obviously don't. And if you note the cover of the book, you'll see a very mysterious picture and in my mind that represents how mysterious this planet really is and the marvelous energy that this planet carries it's alive and it works with us and by ignoring it we're ignoring most of our life who are the big transgressors on this planet who should we be paying attention to or what like coal for instance what are the things that you want to point out well you know we're using all this um fossil fuel of digging up our earth for fossil fuel because we don't realize we know not what we do we we don't realize that all we have to do is turn around there's all renewable energy the wind the sun the waves it's all renewable and it's and it's right there for us to use and instead we're destroying our planet for phony energy in my mind i mean it it works and it's wonderful jobs for people right now but we're going to run out of fossil fuels there's not enough fossil fuels to keep it going and we may be extinct before we run out of fossil fuels because we're really hurting the earth by using it so for heaven's sake just make a simple shift Mm-hmm. in your thinking that's all and and start using solar just use it a little bit you know you watch what you eat start start paying attention to what you can do not only to help yourself and the planet but to help your brother and sister who live across the planet whose homes are being washed away or how about california whose homes are being burned to the ground because of climate change a hundred percent it's so time to pay attention well you're listening to dare to dream radio join me after the show on facebook at dare to dream radio and tv when we come back we're going to find out from elizabeth some of the things that we actually can do to make a change stay right there we'll be right back What would you say if I told you that you could change your life in only one hour and all while lying down relaxing? Thousands of people all over the world have. What am I talking about? It's called Access Consciousness The Bars. The Bars is an energetic body process that contains 32 different points on your head that when run assist you in releasing decisions about any area of your life that you have made solid and as a result cannot change. The Bars is the first class in Access Consciousness, a dynamic set of tools and information designed to transform any area of your life. When you have a Bars session, the worst that can happen is you feel like you had a fantastic massage. The best thing that can happen is your whole life could change. Go to accessconsciousness.com today to find a facilitator to schedule a private session or to find a Bars class in your area. Are you willing to give yourself an hour to change your life? Debbie Dashinger's Radio Interview Mastery Program is a unique branded system that works. MediaMasteryRadio.com puts you on a fast track to grow your business and easily book interviews. Learn how at MediaMasteryRadio.com. Debbie is fiercely committed to guiding entrepreneurs, authors, speakers, healers, and business people. Learn how to leverage your radio appearances to grow your business and increase your visibility at MediaMasteryRadio.com. Do you have a published book that never reached its bestseller potential? Are you working on a book or ebook you hope to publish soon? Do you have a book locked inside waiting to release your message to the world? Go to mybestsellerbook.com. My Bestseller Book will launch your book 
to a guaranteed bestseller status. Learn more at mybestsellerbook.com. Welcome back to Dare to Dream. I'm interviewing Elizabeth Galen Baker at we know not what we do dot net. Elizabeth, what can we do? What changes can people make as individuals or collectively that you recommend so we can turn this around? So we can take a stand, not just have you be a voice for our planet, but how can we also, if there's fear and overwhelm about how huge this issue is, what can we do right now to affect a change? The most important thing, Debbie, is to make that shift in our thinking, to just make that little shift and to get out of fear. This is not a fearful challenge. This is a joyful challenge. We And every spiritual thing that you teach works amazingly for this particular situation. Dare to dream of a planet where there's peace. Imagine with John Lennon that we have a planet where people treat each other well and care about each other across the world. Change your diet, you know, the smallest little thing. If you if you can, change the way you use gasoline, change the way you use these energies, but it can start as small as what you have for lunch. It really just start and and let it be a joyful path, a path that you're dancing down where you're really learning something so exciting. No, it's not on your phone screen. No, it's not on your television. (laughs) It's it's right on that path through Mother Earth, through the woods, down to the ocean. Walk barefoot on the on the ground and just let that energy come up through your body. It's so joyful and it will pay you in such dividends when the universe sees that you're caring about the creator and about the creation it will return a hundred thousand fold it's really an amazing spiritual journey a spiritual and a scientific and i think that's why people love the book because it's both scientific and it's spiritual and it's loving and it's not it doesn't fuss at people. It's not making anybody wrong. And it and in the book, you get a chance to read 12 of the interviews that changed my life. It changed my life to make this film. I was someone that knew nothing about climate change. And then all of a sudden, uh, what happened is that I started learning as I started making this film. And uh, it, it's been the most marvelous journey I've ever taken in my life. It's taken me so much deeper in understanding everything uh, in my life. And And we uh, go to we know now what we do.net. What will we find there? You will find two trailers. You will find sound bites from some wonderful people that I interviewed. You will find you will have an opportunity to buy the book or download the book. Uh, on uh, Kindle, you will have an opportunity to rent the film or download the film to own. You will have uh, everything that you need. You also, also, there's a list of everyone that I interviewed and their nonprofit. If you want to get involved in Appalachia, if you want to get involved in Kivalina, Alaska, if you want to get involved in Washington, D.C., all of these things are on that one website i'm happy to tell you and and it will start you somewhere just start somewhere pick up one little thread and be willing to dare to dream of a world where the planet is not being destroyed Mm. and where human beings are becoming community i mean look what alabama did last night. right right it's so huge it was so such a huge win i know (laughs) everybody is cheering and it's not that he's a democrat it's that the moral path that he's on is inspiring to everyone and that's what we have to do we have to drop all of these uh democrat republican da 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 name calling complaining all of this it's the exact same spiritual rules debbie that you have been teaching for years and years and it works better on climate change than almost anything that you could choose we're right here at the end but i really want to ask you elizabeth because you are so inspiring you have said throughout your life you have bravely followed spirit 
and not your ambitions. What kind of success and journey has that alignment created for you? Oh, my God. I, <laughs> that's, that's my joke. You know, my joke is I thought at this age I'd be in jail. But instead, <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm, a, a, you know, someone that has made three documentaries. All of them have won prizes. Two of them have been on national television. Uh, I've, I've written two books. I didn't self-publish. Two, both books got published. Uh, I wrote my first screenplay. It got theatrical release. Uh, it's unbelievable to me, and it's gifts. Remember, I wrote the first book you, interv- you interviewed mm-hmm. me on, Gifts of Gratitude. That's the gift, grace. If you get grace going for you in your life, and now I'm choking up, but if you get grace going for you in your life, you can dare to dream to do anything, and it works. So beautiful. So beautiful. I just want to give you a little quote from uh, Elizabeth's book. And again, her website, we know not what we do.net. And this quote is from a 16th century monk, which oh, is I, I said to a squirrel, What is it that you are carrying? And he said, It is my lucky rock. Isn't it pretty? I held it and said, Indeed. I said to God, What is this earth? And he said, It is my lucky rock. Isn't it wondrous? And I said, yes, indeed. Elizabeth, say, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. I love that Please. poem, you know, from the 16th century. And you're making me cry just hearing it again, Debbie. I love you. Mm-hmm. I urge everyone, please, please turn your attention to Mother Earth. Dare to dream of a peaceful world. Mm, thank you. Amen, so. sister. Yeah, thank you too. And we come back. Mitch Russo is here, and Mitch creates massive wealth for his clients by guiding CEOs through his process of certification. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Do you love wine? Do you enjoy drinking it or sharing it? Well, maybe you know a lot about wine, maybe you don't. Thanks for entrusting me with picking and choosing the most amazing wines from all over the world and delivering them to your home or business. You will receive as few or as many bottles of wine as you like with tasting notes in your magical box of wine detailing the regions, the history, and even food and wine pairing. We will deliver to you the best wine in the world. So get in, get wine, get social at directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. Sit back and truly enjoy our wines because we take great pride. We have invested a great deal of time selecting the most incredible wines from all over the world. We know you'll enjoy and want to share at directsellers.com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. That's direct, C-E-L-L-A-R-S dot com slash Deb's Wine Wonders. Yum. Be laser focused on ideal clients. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. Great rates at ads at debbie-yer.com. Create awareness of your valuable content. Sponsor the Dare to Dream radio show at ads at debbie Advertising amplifies everything you're doing towards success. Increase your business. Write to ads at debbie If you're tuning in after we've started, this is Debbie Dashinger on Dare to Dream radio. I'm interviewing Mitch Russo. If you sell or license software, marketing automation, coaching or training programs, or have any kind of transformational process, hello, (laughs) Mitch can show you how he creates multi-million dollar divisions for his clients. His number one Amazon bestseller, The Invisible Organization, 
blueprints the entire process of going <laughs> virtual and the benefits of having a virtual company. And his expertise ranges from creating virtual organizations and coaching networks to building, growing, running, selling, and buying technology companies for the last three decades. Woohoo! Mitch, welcome to Dare to Dream. Thanks, Deb. That was great. <laughs> You, my friend, it's so fascinating and wonderful to finally have you here. You are building certification and licensing programs, which companies use to generate insane profits while exploding their sales. That feels very exciting to say out loud. So talk about who do you work with? What is possible through this certification and licensing? Sure. Well, I think I should tell you the story about how I discovered this process. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of almost like alchemy in a way because, you know, it's not your standard business model. It's different. And I stumbled across it many years ago when I was building my software company, Time Slips Corporation, and all I was trying to do was get a couple of my existing clients to help me support some other clients who weren't who weren't coming up to speed as quickly as I would like. So almost by accident, I called on an old client of mine who was doing great, who loved our software, if she wouldn't mind going over and helping another client. Well, after I did that, she called me back a couple of hours, eight, actually six hours later, and said, you're not going to believe what happened. I said, tell me. She said, not only did we get your client straightened out, but she gave me a $100 bill. And I said, wow, that's fantastic. And then these are the words that changed my life forever. She said, and if there's anybody else out there who you think needs my help, you just let me know. And it was like a light bulb went off at the top of my head. And I said, oh, my goodness, what happens if I were to actually train my best clients on how they can use their skills and knowledge to make some extra money to moonlight, if you will, as a software consultant and go out there and help my clients install and run their time slip software. And that from that moment on, I was absolutely obsessed with the idea of certifying clients, bringing them into the company as partners and getting them in front of clients so that they can make money, too. When you use the word time slip as a software, for those of us who don't know, what is that exactly? I I should explain. That was the name of the company that I started uh, above my garage in 1985 with just $5,000 and an idea. Do you have some paper going on? I'm sorry. I just want to um, – it sounds like there's some paperwork going on. That's not, that's not me. Huh. Okay. So – <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I apologize. Sure. No. Uh, I mean, Time Slips was the company I started. I uh, I had a neighbor who moved in next door to me and we became friends. And I shared the idea of what I had in mind. And together we built a company. And it was a wild ride. It took nine years to get to the point where we had uh, oh, 350 certified consultants in our team. And those certified consultants were responsible for doubling the value of the company, of generating over a million dollars in direct revenue, of creating our third largest sales channel and reducing our support by at least 20 percent. So for us, that model that we sort of fell into was becoming one of the driving factors of how our business was grown and it gave us a competitive edge that nobody had. So it was an amazing experience. Mm. So so here we are. Uh, you have an, a, a light bulb moment where actually you're doing something for somebody. There's this enormous benefit. It causes you to expand out and say, what would be possible if I fully stepped into this? And how could I really help my best clients? Okay, so a path is born. And for us now, what's possible through this? Who should work with you? Who would want to work with you? And why would we want to work with you? What would the benefit be? Sure. Well, what this really begins with is it begins by having something that causes a transformation in other people or in companies or in organizations. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you have a coaching system 
that transforms lives. That would be one reason to get certification. If you have a software product like I did, that's another great reason to create a certified consultant program. Now, I want to add that this is not just certification. There's an element to this that is very different. It's called, I build something called power tribes. And a power tribe is a very close-knit group of people driven by the founder's why and by a code of ethics Mm. that becomes family to the company, to the owners. It becomes their their source of inspiration in many ways and ultimately is even more important than their employees. So this is not just a business model. This is an extension, a spiritual extension of the founders of the company to basically plant this seed into thousands, hundreds, if not thousands of other people and have them go forth into the world and spread the transformation to others. Mm, I love that. Wow, wow, wow. You're speaking to my tribe right here. So qualifications, Mitch, what are the qualifications to work with you? And I'd also love some client stories that you might share. Sure, sure. I'd love to. Well, qualifications are relatively straightforward. Since we build this program based on your existing clients, meaning we can't work with a company who doesn't have enough clients that we can get two to five percent of those people who are typically the early adapters in any group to stand up and say, yay, I want to do this. Yay, choose me. So we we need somewhere between 500 and 1,000 existing clients before before we can really, really generate the initial boost of revenue that and makes just to get thing. clear on that, are you saying yep. five hundred or more clients or database? Clients, not database. Okay. Because database means prospects typically. Mm-hmm. We're talking people who have bought a product, who have received that product, who have used that product to benefit their lives or their companies in some way. Gotcha. Okay. And then the people who have worked with you, tell us a, a couple of stories that sure. uh, where they started and what happened from going through this radical process with you. Sure. Well, one of my favorite stories is uh, about linked selling and Josh Turner, the CEO. We were on a casual conversation about a different topic. And I asked him if he had even thought about ever creating this incredible tribe of people called Certified Consultants. And he was very interested. And I sent him something to read. I sent him to my blog where I had written it up. And after he read it, he got back to me and said, wow, I think I want to do this. (laughs) So I said, great. And what we did at that point, Debbie, is we got deep. I got deep into understanding his company, deep into understanding who he was. And from there, we built a plan. And what I then call is a three-phase plan that gets us from zero to full speed in about 90 days. So Josh followed the plan. I mean, we worked together very closely. I worked with his team. I worked with his staff. We were able to take what he had already built, utilize much of it, and then put in place the pieces that were missing that would create this magical organization called Certified Consultants. And in about 10 weeks, he was able to launch the program, generated an immediate six figures. And today, he is recruiting between 20 and 25 new certified consultants every single month. Wow, that's a story. That's a really great story. And what about us? Is there a way that we can make radical shifts in how we do business? Any tips that you can offer us? Sure. So this is probably the greatest takeaway that anyone can get from listening to me today. And that is if you have a business and you have clients, my my advice to you is to get to know your clients at a much deeper level than you even realized you could. And what I mean by that is be the communicator you were born to be. Hmm. Let me tell you what I tell my clients. When I tell my clients who are at a point in their lives where they have a gift that they need to either monetize or share with the world, I try to explain to them that their true purpose is to do only two things. Their true purpose is to communicate and to create. Everything else, you bring somebody else in to help you because that is not your your highest purpose. So if you're in a place where you are communicating and you are creating, then you can share what you create 
with your clients and you can engage them in active conversations. When you travel, you can invite them to dinner. You can meet them for coffee. You can change the way your company does business by involving your clients at a higher level and letting, letting them get to know you and getting to know them too. It's amazing what happens when you share you with the people who love you already, but mm. don't really spend the time with you because you're just not available. Mm. This is such a great tip and so a tip for right now. This relationship building, influencer building, connection building, it's exactly how I built my business. And I didn't set out to do it. It's just a part of who I am and it worked for me. So I've seen that in real time and that's beautiful and powerful. I love the idea of traveling and meeting and connecting in wholly new ways to create a really radical business. Well, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I'll be speaking with Mitch about his dreams and how did he go from where he was as a little boy to who he became and is becoming today. And if you love wine and gosh i love wine you can send wine as a gift you can have wine on hand for any day holidays otherwise because it's so great to have on hand all the time order this worldwide high-end wine at below retail prices delivered to your door go to directsellers.com slash deb's wine wonders and that's sellers like a wine seller c-e-l-l-a-r-s directsellers.com slash deb's wine wonders stay right there i'll be right back if there's nothing wrong with you what if you're far greater than you've ever given yourself credit for what if it's time to know the gift and the contribution you are to the world and to like yourself a lot more hi my name is dane here 13 years ago i started to truly ask questions actually i started to be the question and everything changed for me asking questions opens doors to infinite possibilities and it's not about finding the answer. It's about being the question. Always. What I'm inviting you to step into is something that Einstein, Marie Curie, Newton, Da Vinci, Gandhi, Picasso, and Aristotle all knew to be true. What if no question is too big or too small? What if anything is possible for you? What if together we could create a kinder, gentler, happier world? Is now the time? Go to beingyouclass.com and sign up for a free video series, My Gift to You. Beingyouclass.com what if you, truly being you, are the gift and change this world requires? BeingYouClass.com Be laser-focused on ideal clients. Advertise on Dare to Dream Radio. Great rates at ads at debbie .com. Create awareness of your valuable content. Sponsor the Dare to Dream Radio show at ads at debbie .com. Advertising amplifies everything you're doing towards success. Increase your business. Write to ads at debbiedashinger.com. What books are you reading? Are you ready for a must read? Winner of the Inspirational Book of the Year Award and International Best Sellers, Dare to Dream, This Life Counts by Debbie Dashinger, as well as the acclaimed Wisdom to Success, The Surefire Secrets to Accomplish All Your Dreams. Buy the books from Amazon today. U.S. Book Review and Writer's Digest said these are critics' picks by Debbie Dashinger, Dare to Dream, and Wisdom to Success contain gems to live your life by. Dare to Dream, this is Debbie Dashinger, and welcome back. I'm speaking with Mitch Russo, and you can find more about him and what he provides and creates at MitchRusso.com. Mitch, you had a dream as a little boy that you didn't want to struggle like your parents did. Talk about growing up. Talk about the impact it had on you then and the choices that you decided upon later. Sure. You know, it was funny because I, I wasn't conscious of many of these choices, uh, but it was basically life happening to us as kids. My sister and I, we grew up in a house and, and you know, our parents were probably like a lot of parents back then. I mean, there was a lot of, it was a crazy household. There was all kinds of screaming going on. And and uh, it turns out that um, my mom and dad weren't doing too well. And they tried to keep that a secret from, from us kids. And then one day, quite suddenly, my dad just picked up and left. He just walked out. 
And uh, I, I heard a commotion at the front of the house, and I, I ran to find him with a suitcase walking out, and, and he turned to us kids and said, don't worry, I'll be back and I'll see you on Wednesday. And I turned to my mother all confused after he left and said, what just happened? And he said, well, your dad and I are not going to be living together anymore. And, you know, as kids, we didn't quite get all that. And, and again, this goes back a lot of years. So divorce was not that popular or, or it wasn't that uh, present in my school. I mean, I wasn't, there weren't many kids I knew of that came from divorced families. So we, unfortunately, the two of us, my sister and I, we, we, we slipped into, uh, I would say, a very bad place in our lives. And, and uh, it was very hard for us. We, we got involved in drugs and, and me so more than she did. Uh, but we also made another decision. We decided that we didn't want to struggle because we watched our mom struggle after my father left. He, she had to take part-time uh, jobs and menial pay jobs. And, and she was treated very, very badly by others who employed her. And together, my sister and I, without knowing it, both made the same decision. And the decision was is that we are not going to allow life to impact us without the capability of taking control of our, of our time and our money. And we wanted to both become, if not wealthy, at least uh, at least have enough in life to enjoy it and to take care of ourselves and our families. And that's what we did. Mm, powerful. So you decide I'm not going to struggle like that. And, you know, not everybody does. I mean, actually, the opposite often happens, that there's a, a – I'm trying to think of the word, but it's it's a neural groove that gets created and we replicate as in lineage over and over again. We perpetrate upon ourselves what we saw happen to our parents and ad infinitum, amen. So you're doing something totally different to really get out of that groove. Was it easy? Was it a struggle? You know, it's an interesting question, Debbie, because I think that groove would have kept me in the same place as my parents uh, had that not disrupted our lives the way it did. And my sister went on to become a a uh, a member of the Supreme Court of the state of New York. Mm -hmm. And I went on to start a business. And again, we both had this desire to elevate ourselves out of the middle, lower middle class lives that we led as kids. And not that it was a bad life. I mean, we never perceived ourselves as having a bad life. We just didn't have the things that we knew other kids had. It wasn't so much that, it was what happened afterwards. It was what happened after the divorce that we watched as our mom struggled to, to just keep the lights on and feed us. Mm. We used to sneak money into her pocketbook. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, that's both of us, my sister and I, we both had part-time jobs. I was, uh, I was 14 at the time. I was working at a, a luncheonette and uh, my sister was a babysitter and she worked. And so we were able to put 10 or $15 a week into my mother's pocketbook. And, um, you know, that might have been enough just to put food on the table, you know. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What what choices you made and how you turned your life around away from drugs and into the light, so to speak, and to even help your mom out like that. And I'm hearing as you're speaking, Mitch, uh, an accent that is home to me. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I'm curious where you're from, because you sound like a brother, a brother uh, from the same you, place. <laughs> you, we are. And I can assure you that we are. Yes, I'm, I, I grew up in Manhattan Beach, Brooklyn, right down the Belt Parkway from you. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's such a great accent. So this is powerful. And I want to fast forward here so people can see from one space through these choices to another space. Fast forward. Chet Holmes propels you to meet Tony Robbins. You have had this incredible relationship with Tony Robbins. What has knowing him been like? How do you guys contribute to each other yeah it's that again is one of my favorite topics and things to talk about because i love tony so much tony has been such a big part of my life starting in 2008 2009 when we first came together um to build a company together but tony and i have history that he wasn't aware of just like many of us i was a fan of tony's for many many years i i remember i remember taking a particularly long business trip 
uh, where I had an entire box of his CDs that allowed me to spend eight hours on the road doing nothing but listening to Tony and doing the exercises in the car. So here I am driving down the New York State Highway, the, the thruway, screaming at my windshield because that's what Tony said to do. <laughs> and uh, I came back a changed person after after really working working my soul you know, through those processes that Tony gave me. So you can imagine many years later when I finally met this man, this six foot ten giant of a person, yeah. both physically and and spiritually and in every way possible. I mean, I hugged him, but I could only I only got up to the mid chest <laughs> of you know, I have so many pictures of Tony and I where he 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 sort of gives me this tap on the chest where his whole hand covers me shoulder to shoulder, it seems. But well, here's what it really comes down to. I cherished the time I had with Tony and the friendship that I still maintain with Tony. And he was my mentor for five years. I had the greatest two mentors in the world, the two greatest people I could ever ask for to further develop my abilities and skills. And that was Chet, Chet Holmes and Tony Robbins. And you work together. And how did your work change? How did your business knowledge or path change by working as a president and CEO of one of the conglomerates that Tony has? Sure. So up until this point, I was always the star of the show. I was the CEO who built Time Slips Corporation. I was the one on stage. I was the one traveling. I was the one who crafted all the policies and, and basically spoke uh, and did all the publicity for the company back as when it was my company. Then later, as I was brought into a, a venture company, uh, I was again that same person, the CEO and president of, of a venture-backed startup. And again, I was the one on stage, the front man. This time, I had to be the wizard behind the curtain. I needed to let the two best front men in the world stand up and take center stage. And that, of course, was Tony and Chet. And, and it was... Frankly, it was a bit of a struggle at first. I didn't quite feel comfortable not feeling as if I was the one being recognized and the one being in control. But there was something about it that I liked. And what I decided to do was focus on developing that ability, that ability to be the guy who can make it happen without having to have the ego strokes of being the one on stage. And and frankly, I didn't I, I wasn't even supposed to be on stage. It, it wouldn't have served the company if I was. These were the guys that needed to be on stage. These are the guys whose incredible story drove our success. And I was the guy who was behind the scenes orchestrating the entire process and having both Chet and Tony as my coaches and mentors throughout the entire time. Wow. Amazing that you were able to let that go. I'm very impressed because I, I can imagine uh, coming from an identity like that of being the one in the spotlight to suddenly realizing somebody else clearly is and what now is your role and to allow that to unfold organically. Um, what a life changing experience and wisdom to even allow that to happen. You know, I'm and I'm so curious. You have so many parts of you and I appreciate how much you explore in this life it's been said that Mitch Russo is always checking for a full moon in Iceland and has been known to disappear in a moment's notice and your travel photos if people haven't seen them go to MitchRussoTravels.com spectacular I mean Thank you. Transporting. Talk about, Mitch, your love of travel. What is that for you? Okay. I'm so glad you mentioned this because, you know, we all, every one of us is creative. Every human being ever born is a creative soul. And that creativity manifests itself in many different ways and primarily in one way, but not only in one way. For me, one of my biggest creative outlets is my photography. And the photography that I create is an expression of how I feel when I'm at the places that I travel to. So if I can get the chance to go and stand in front of something epic and snap my shutter, then to me, that is the, the most blessed gift I could ever get. And I don't 
know of any other time when I'm more present, more completely overwhelmed by the beauty of life and the beauty of this planet. I mean, we we talk about the things that are wrong with us, with this planet and with our people and with our country and with the world every day. But how often do we focus on the absolute incredible beauty that we have been gifted here on the planet Earth? And I believe it's my job, my duty, my passion to find it, take a picture of it and hold it dear to me and in my heart forever and show it to you. Mm. Any places that captured your heart that you love to go back to? Oh, God, that's, that's an endless list. I, mean, <laughs> I, I love so many different places. Uh, I have, you know, I, I always say that the place I love the most is the place I've been last. And, and, and the reason is, is because I am so immersed in everywhere, everywhere I go and, and the people that I meet that I just can't wait to go back. So I, I've been to Iceland at least six times. I'll probably go another six times. I told my wife that I would stop going when I stopped coming home with unbelievable photographs. Until then, I just keep going. Is there a coffee table book in the future? Yeah, there probably is. You know, it's 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 been a uh, that kind of a project is, is going to be all consuming at some point in my life. But I would say yes. I think it, it's important for me at some point just to have that as even if I print three of them and I give one to my sister, one to my daughter. <laughs> I mean, it, it's important to me to eventually do something like that, but it's it's not a priority right now. Mm. Well, I look forward to that. But tr truly, folks, go to MitchRussoTravels.com and it will take your breath away. Well, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll be asking Mitch, how could we create a seven-figure client certification program for what we do? And if I can help you write your book, I'm a book coach, or take your book to guaranteed international bestseller, or if you have media interviewing needs for coaching, strategy, and bookings, email me at bestseller at debbie .com. Let's get your book done. Let's get you interviewed, and let's get you out there. Stay right there. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. This is Dr. Dane here, and I would like to invite you to an adventure in being. I've just written and finished a new book known as Being You, Changing the World. Are you one of those dreamers? One of those people who's always known that other possibilities should be available but haven't yet been able to see them be created? Well, I wrote this book for you. In it, you'll find tools, processes, and unique perspectives to change the things you've always wanted to change but didn't know how. In it, you'll find an invitation to a different possibility for a way that we can be in this world that changes not only our lives, but by being us, allows us to contribute to changing everything planet-wide that doesn't work. Are you aware that truly great people, truly being them, is the only thing that has ever created a great change on this planet? Are you willing to step up? Are you willing to be one? Check out a copy of my new book, Being You, Changing the World. I invite you to go to beingyoubook.com for a free gift. MediaMasteryRadio.com. Learn how to get booked on radio, be paid in money, time, and sales quickly while helping others through your media visibility. At MediaMasteryRadio.com, learn how to get on radio and be interviewed. Debbie Dutchinger is a success and media expert who is a proven professional. Go to MediaMasteryRadio.com. Stop struggling to acquire clients. Learn to achieve instant visibility to the masses. Book radio interviews for a profitable business. Learn to communicate what you do and get results at MediaMasteryRadio.com. MyBestsellerBook.com helps you self-publish and you keep all the royalties. Even if your book is already published, MyBestseller.com will help you become a best-selling author. Your book will be promoted to a large global following. Enjoy a press release and book review. Make your next book launch bigger and better. MyBestsellerBook.com has long-term client credibility and 100% success in turning books into bestsellers. MyBestsellerBook.com Welcome back to Dare to Dream. This is Debbie Dashinger. I'm speaking with Mitch Russo. And Mitch, this is Dare to Dream. So my question to you is, what do you next dare to dream? What are your future dreams and goals? Debbie, I'm going to reveal to you something that very few people know about. 
and it is a very core mission of mine and it's been something I've been working on now for the last year. A year ago I realized that a lot of people are not making the progress in life that they that they need to make and that I had a secret if you will. I had a process that I believed could help everybody reach their goals and dreams and that process came from a practice that I've been involved in for many, many years. It's called accountability. Mm. And so what I decided to do was take my version of accountability and build an entire software platform to create a match.com for entrepreneurs to come <laughs> and find their accountability <laughs> partnership <sighs> and then let the software take them through their sessions week after week, keeping history and statistics and helping connect people to be together in success. Mm -hmm. And there's a part of this that I want to share with you because that's just, I mean, there's sure there's software and yes, there'll be a beautiful community of people surrounding the software. But my biggest goal is to take this program into the inner city high schools mm -hmm. and help young people who aspire to wow. have more in life, to create businesses through my 10 minute mentor program. So all you have to do to join me is go to my website called resultsbreakthrough.com, sign up for a free trial, become a uh, 10 minute mentor, and you will get a chance to work one on one with a young person in the inner city, inner city school systems that will thrilled be thrilled to have you and have you help them even if it's just helping answer a few questions a couple of times a month mm. resultsbreakthrough.com i just want to speak to that premise for a minute because i know this to be true and this is something that i share with people from time to time that accountability changed my life and continues to do so when i first wanted to go into public speaking and I know I belong on the stage but it didn't matter I had a lot of stuff between my ears of extreme discomfort and a lot of fear and anxiety about getting up in front of others about remembering an hour's worth of material about trying to convert to sales about all of that and I had to get an accountability person that I checked in with so it would force me so to speak to move ahead I knew that if I had an accountability partner I would not fail because I'd be too embarrassed to say, oh, I didn't do anything this week. There's no way. It's not in my wheelhouse. And literally, by virtue of me having an accountability partner, it got me to my end goal. I wrote the speech. I memorized the speech. I got all the sales forms, every piece, you know, the PayPal, the Foursquare, the this and that. There was so many components, someone in the back of the room to help me, uh, my PowerPoint, and the bookings. And then showing up in Canada and showing up in the United States and so forth. And once I was doing it live and thriving on stage, literally so knowing that's where I need to be and having a great success doing that, I could look back on that one component, the accountability partner, and point to that and say, that's why I'm here. That's why this happened. And I could use this again. It costs nothing, but the rewards are tremendous. It's all about success, really, in the end. Absolutely. And I'm so with you. In fact, the business I told you about earlier, Time Slips Corporation, was started because of the of, of having an accountability partnership with another individual who was also starting a completely different business at the time. It was us working together that motivated me. Like you said, every week I didn't want to be embarrassed by not doing what I had committed to do. And so I did. Mm. Beautiful. So a little more about success, creating a seven-figure client certification program. You have a service that guarantees that your clients are going to make six figures on their launch, and you talked about it early with one of your client's success stories. So how do you succeed at that guarantee? But it's very simple because, again, if, if I am very careful about the type of clients that I take on, if I take on the type of clients who qualify, like I said earlier, who already have 500 to 1,000 clients, then I know that 2 to 5% of that client base will immediately jump at the opportunity to become certified. And if we get just 
20 people, which is the maximum amount for the first pilot class, if we get just 20 people to sign up at anywhere from 10 to $20,000 for certification, then we've generated several hundred thousand dollars in less than 10 days mm-hmm. after launching the program. This still makes it, sense. Right. Yeah. How could it not fail? I mean, it's... it's <laughs> It's so I love simple. that. It's so exciting, Mitch. I love it. And I love the sense, the, the logistics, the logic behind what you're saying. Like, of course, X yeah. equals, yeah, this, this is um, perfect, perfect storm waiting to happen for your business. And so people who want to connect with you, is it best to go to MitchRusso.com or where would you point them? Yes, it would be best to go to MitchRusso.com. The, uh, the other site that I gave you is not live yet. Uh, the software system is being prepped right now for release, but go to MitchRusso.com. You can read all about my accountability program, uh, my my certification program, and sign up to be notified when Results Breakthrough Network is live and running. And right here at the end, I just want to say, because you have had, uh, from a kid who saw struggle, and because of that struggle, made a decision that he was not going to live there, that he was going to do something quite the opposite. And you have absolutely created that as your reality. And as a businessman, as someone who's connected with colleagues, I even know being out in the world, I continue to meet people who will mention your name in mm-hmm. my circle. And it, it just makes me laugh. It's like, yes, I know, Mitch, isn't this mm-hmm. wonderful? The other thing people may not realize is besides being an avid traveler and landscape photographer is that your work won first prize with the Sierra Club and more recently was published in Jet Gala magazine with a two page spread. So success is part of your wheelhouse. You really do it and live it and be it. I would love you to share with us just a few favorite steps that we might not know about that will create success that we can employ as well. Sure. And I'm going to also tell you how you could help your kids become super successful in life too. Mm -hmm. So it's a very simple process. And, And I started this with my daughter when she was just a little girl. What I looked for is something that she could be the best at. And I didn't care if it was chess, bowling, knitting. I really did not care one bit. I just wanted her to be the best at whatever it was that she chose to be. And so when we got started with candle pin bowling and we tried ice skating and we tried roller skating and we tried regular bowling, but it was somehow it was candle pin bowling for her that really ignited her fire. And we worked for four years until she ended up in a tournament and ended up winning first prize for the state of Massachusetts. And that imprint of success on her life, on her soul, carried her throughout the rest of her life. She now knew what it felt like to be celebrated as the best. And that took her into the next phase of her life, where she then had straight A's throughout her entire school career, wrote a best-selling book at the age of 16, now graduated Lesley University, magna cum laude with honors. Mm -hmm. Today, getting the greatest job ever she could in her field. So it's this imprint of success that that translates into taking a position inside of us that we can never let go of. And so what does that mean for today? Find the thing that you are the best at and become even better. Celebrate every day the things that you love and become the greatest you could be, whether it's skateboarding, whether it's ice skating, whether it's painting, it doesn't matter be the best at it. Let that imprint be made on your soul, on your psyche, so that you understand what it feels like to be the best at something. And then let life help you duplicate it in everything you do. Mm. Become the best you can be at what you love and let life duplicate it for you. Thank you, Mitch Russo, for being with us today on Dare to Dream. My pleasure. Thank you. And I end today's show with this quote from Albert Schweitzer. In everyone's life at some time, our inner fire goes out. It is then burst into flame by an encounter with another human being. We should all be thankful for those people who rekindle the inner spirit.
Next up on Dare to Dream radio and podcast, I am featuring and interviewing Lisa Nichols, Judith Orloff, Carolyn Mace, and Lynn McTaggart. So you want to be tuning in every week. Subscribe to my inspirational YouTube videos at youtube.com slash Deb on the radio. Thanks for joining me today on Dare to Dream. To contact the award-winning syndicated Dare to Dream radio show, go to DebbieDashinger.com. Keep your excellent feedback and comments coming. Your host, Debbie Dashinger, is an expert at goal achievement, a media personality, an international best-selling author, and a keynote speaker. Debbie leads high-quality teleseminars on how to achieve goals, how to be a self-published best-selling author, and how to get booked on radio. All classes are at DebbieDashinger.com. Debbie's best-selling books are Dare to Dream, This Life Counts, sold on Amazon, and her second book, Wisdom to Success, The Secrets to Accomplish All Your Dreams, sold online at all bookstores. Tune in again to hear the next inspiring interview guest who has turned their vision into a successful reality. Want more support in making your dreams come true? Go to DebbieDashinger.com. That's www.D-E-B-B-I-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. You'll see videos, MP3s, archived interviews, and amazing products sharing the secret steps to making your dreams come true. Remember to dream big with every expectation that your dream will become real. Dreams are free, so free your dreams. What do you dare to dream? Here I'm standing now, waiting for my time to be all that I can be. So easy to forget Life is in my hands And I can change it if I want Nothing's impossible